Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're on Hazard County. Loving this map. Still loving this map. Fantastic. Uh, today, well, we've got some more chore to do down here on the lower farm. I'm at the TMR machine. We're going to take care of that for a little bit. I got that small canola field to harvest. And then we're heading out to the into the woods to the, uh, the lumber mill. We've got some DGENs to go deal with out there. Mostly Mike. <laughs> Let's get to work. Bitter patter. Simulations. All right, we're just getting set up here. I need to uh, fire this New Holland up. Let me just reach in here and turn this thing on. There we go. Nice. Uh, this is what powers this whole plant, basically, or the dryer section of it. You can see down there how uh, that pipe runs. It's connected to the back of the New Holland here. But uh, we need to get, well, we've got silage in there. I want to start making TMR. Now we need the, the whole rigmarole to get the silage out is a little bit... Well, it's a little bit of a pain. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Come on in. Set this on up. Perfect. All right, so we got our silage coming out. We're filling our first gravity wagon. And I know, silage in a gravity wagon clutch? Come on. What are you doing? It's not the best, but it works. So uh, it, it makes life a little bit easier. It's the biggest thing I've got that kind of works this way. So, um, yeah, we'll do both, both of these gravity wagons. Let me pull ahead here. We'll do the next one as well. So I've got two gravity wagons we're going to fill with silage. So that's going to be quite a bit. I mean, we're up to, what, 30,000 liters? Uh, no, 23,000 per. But I'll take what I can get here. So we've got both these gravity wagons uh, totally filled up, it looks like. Almost. Well, there we go. She's emptied out. So that's all the silage. That's from the grass that we cut earlier in the year. We had uh, a bunch of grass we cut in there. I don't think we put any corn in there, did we? I don't know if we did. We might have. I can't remember off the top of my head now. Anyways. Uh, and then all I gotta do is rip going around, zip back onto this side, and dump it in here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have to go on, just do this a couple of times. Now, into this side here, we're gonna make making the TMR. And you can see, we've got just a little handy cheat sheet here, just so we remember what we're doing. It's mostly silage. Mostly silage is going in here. We need corn, and we need some soybeans. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna dump a bunch of silage into this. I got a, quite a bit over there still, I think. So I'll probably do like two, maybe three runs of this just to get uh, as much silage as I possibly can into this. This is all just TMR for those cows we got at the top. I wonder if I could sell this. I need to talk to see Wham or anybody else. Maybe uh, somebody else is out there in the, uh, in the county that would like some silage or some TMR, I should say, for their cattle. But for us, I think we'll do this for a bit. It's going to be a lot. We'll have a ton of silage after this. And I'm not going to need to worry about cows for quite a while. All those... Uh, we have another mixer up at the top or another storage area at the top that I'll, I'll probably truck some up to once it's made. But I think we still have quite a bit up there as well. We're just getting ready for the winter. You know how it is. All right, that trailer looks like she's almost empty looking at that sight glass there. Let's uh, jump in. We'll pull ahead, grab the second trailer, and do this all over once again. Dumping in load number dos. We'll dump this off. Looking good, looking good. You know what? It doesn't take a lot of time, but <laughs> I feel like I'm doing the, uh, the silage factory 500 here. Just doing laps. And trip number three. That is going to do it. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm, I'm happy with that. That pretty much eats up all the silage that's in there anyways. That's collar there. Uh, what else can I use silage for? I don't, think I, need, I don't need anything else for silage. I think we're going to be good there. We'll be totally good with that. That's enough. So we'll dump this in. And uh, yeah, guys, let's grab... Uh, you know what? we got to go grab that vector, our harvester. Now, if you haven't seen the vector before, well, we kind of got it stuck with a big header uh, just the other day. So I'm hoping we fixed it. I had to go in and dig a bunch of mud out of the tracks. We'll go take a look at that in a sec. We'll see how it's looking. But we'll get over into this canola field right there. It's a small field. It shouldn't take us too long. I'm hoping we can get that done by end of day. And like I said, tomorrow we got to go to that forestry uh, area. There's a logging area there. Go deal with Mike. Hopefully we can uh, get him set up. There's something he's got to deal with out there. Nothing crazy, but it's something I promised him a long time ago, and he's getting a little upset with me. All right, we're just hiking back over to... The, uh, the shop here, I got, well, you can kind of, can you see it? Can you see the Challenger? The Challenger's right there beside the field. Uh, like I said, this is the field I need to harvest right in front of us. But I wanted to get the uh, the Vector out. The Vector, which is, I understand, is a Massey rebrand. I don't know much about Vector, but well, we got it with this farm. So, you know what, we've been using it. It was working great until, well, the ground changed for some reason around here. And, uh, well, these little tracks on this fairly good-sized combine... She's, uh, she's been giving us a bit of grief. Now, we've cleaned the tracks out. We're going to go with a bit of a smaller head. We've got the smaller header right there. We'll see how that works out. The vector. 
We'll see how this thing's going to work for us today. Hopefully it's good. If not, I've got the versatile right there. We can always pull that in, but I do need to do maintenance to that thing still too. Um, you know what? We've been busy harvesting a little bit over the, uh, some of the fields there. We helped Whammer out on his cornfield just the other day. No, sunflower. Sunflower field. And uh, it took a bit of abuse. So I wanted to do some work to it before we kind of did too much else. Anyways, the nice thing about this vector, like you can just kind of spin her over on a dime here. Just crank her over and she just kind of turns. Not bad. That's because you got a bit of a skid steer option there, essentially. Now, the head, a little small. A little bit small. Come on. There we go. Uh, we got a Rossum Lash head on the front of it. Just a small guy. Oh man, I, I hope it fits through this. How did I get it in here? Like, that's a point fit. <laughs> uh, I have to, like, angle this out? What did I... Put this in here. Okay, I think it fits. It's gonna fit, right? I can just kind of. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, okay, best driver in farm sim. Uh... <laughs> there we go. Let's uh, scoot on over into the field, cut some canola up, and uh, yeah, like I said, this is a pretty small field. It shouldn't take us too long. We'll get this done by. Uh, it's only five o'clock. We got time still, but uh, we're getting to the late summer here, guys. It's gonna be. We're gonna be into the winter. We're well, not winter, but fall. We don't. Have, we have some big fields still to harvest. That's gonna be. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a rush. I think we're timing things out just nicely right now, to be honest. But I do want to make sure I stay on top of this. So I don't want to spend too much time in the logging camp quite yet. Anyways, look at this. A little bit of canola. Not a massive field. It just goes over to the tracks here. But uh, oh, we gotta unfold this thing first. Let's take a quick look at that. There she goes. Nice. And fire it up. All right. Moment of truth. Do we have traction this time? Because she has not had much traction lately. Come on, baby. Climb this hill. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get in there. That's better. That's what I like to see. Okay. Seems to be working just fine. Uh, a little bit of maintenance. That fixed our problem. We're just going to stay nice and tight to this fence along. Is it Wendy's here? Stay nice and tight to the fence. Now, this is where I always kind of struggle on what to do with this field. Do I just go straight across and then pick up the stuff that's in this corner later on? I think that works best rather than dilly-dallying around in this corner. Oh, man. I just to find this little corner piece is kind of annoying. Such a pain to harvest in there. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll go straight on, finish this section off, and then uh, we'll come back and do this later on. Yeah, that would be fine. But I don't think I'm going to get a full, a full lap in here. Oh, man. Look at this. Right up against the fence. How did I plant so close? Back on up. Oh, oh, I'm sinking already. Oh, no. We got a problem. Oh, man, I'm going to have to get something out here to tow myself out. Okay, let's lift the head up. Oh, no. <laughs> this thing is just, just sinking in. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's silly tracks that are just... Uh, they don't seem to want to grab out here for some reason. It's just not enough traction. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can get this thing pulled back a bit here. I'll go get a tractor. We'll just pull back with the Challenger for now, I guess. All right, we got a cable attached to the Vector. I think it's done. Um, I tried moving it around. You can see here. I tried moving it a little around. I keep on getting stuck in the mud, guys. It's just not going anywhere. I'm going to yard this thing right out of here. As soon as we put it in reverse, there's got to be something wrong with that thing. We must have broke it the other day when we were uh, harvesting. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to get rid of it, I think. Come on. Let's go. Well, at least the uh, the Challenger doesn't have a problem with it. <laughs> Come on. Let's just drag you right on out. She does not want to seem to work on her own, though. Yeah, get out of the field. Get out of that field. I want to try and save that crop if I can. Let's see if we can uh, at least kind of save some of our crop on that side. Call this edge in. Nice. And I think we're straight. I'm going to lose a little bit here, but that's all right. It's not the end of the world. Try and save as much as we can. Excellent. There we go, guys. We're good. We'll just drag this thing right back on out. I just, it just must be too soft, this ground. I don't know what happened with that vector, but you know what? We got the... Um, what do we got? We have the Versatile. That's right. The Versatile is right out here. We'll give that a shot instead. You know what? I might be able to get it out right here. I might be able to just pull it straight in through this little rope. Oh, is that head going to fit? Yeah, the head should fit there. Maybe we'll just drive it. Oh, for what it's worth, let's just back it all the way all the way down. Oh, oh, oh I don't want to hit the road. No, no, no. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, I'm starting to slip here a little bit. Oh, man, what a pain. 
<laughs> Alright, let's back this all the way back on out. Looks like we're going to be okay. Yeah, it's fine. And uh, straight across, I should put it right well, on the road for now. We'll grab the Versatile, get back in there, and we should be okay to stay off the fences. Stay off the fences. Don't be silly. Oh, no, I'm rubbing against the fence. I hope I can help. Come on, keep pulling. Keep pulling. You can do this. Come on, Challenger. Oh, no. Come on. Crank it this way. I might be able to pull the rear end around. Oh, man. She's struggling. She is struggling. Get, 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 get. Ah, oh, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think. You know what? I should be able to have traction. Yeah, I'll have traction to get out of there at least, so... Um, we're good. I'll need to unhook this. We'll just leave this here and then go grab that versatile. Ugh, what a pain. Well, so much for that. I was really hoping to use the, uh, that vector. I really like that harvester, but obviously that's just not going to do the job for us. The versatile we know is tried and true, so, um, I guess we're going to use that, guys. It's too bad. It really is. Uh, let's open this up. We'll open this, drop that. Get this thing hooked all up on into it. And, uh, you know what? It's, this will be even faster now, to be perfectly honest. The, uh, versatile, the header is so much bigger on this Macdon. I think it's a 40-foot header we got here. No, it's 75-foot, sorry. That doesn't make sense. It can't be that. It's 40 meters? Anyways. It can't be 40 feet. What did that say? 45 foot. Thank you! <laughs> I was gonna say, I was losing my mind. Uh, let's open this up. There we go. Excellent. Alright. Um, this will be pretty quick now. Not nearly, uh... I think the tank's actually bigger on the versatile as well. But we're going to have to figure out what to do with that that uh, vector. Anybody want to buy a vector harvester? I have no use for it. <laughs> it's going cheap. Maybe Wammer will buy it. Let's we'll go drop it off and tell him it's his. I'm sure he'll be fine with that, won't he? Right? So far, so good, but here is the true test. This field, you got to go down in like a bit of a peninsula with a drain. And, uh, oh man, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Bit of a hill right here. As long as we can back up this and kind of get resorted. Yeah, I think it's okay. You know what? I'm so glad we've got the duels on this. When we originally picked this thing up and only had the singles on, we put the duels on because, just for, for safety, to be perfectly honest. Oh, man. And uh, it's turned out to, I think that's the, the saving grace for this whole thing. The fact we got those duels up front, that's the only reason we're grabbing right now. I think anything else, we'd be sliding all over the map. Anyways, we've got to figure it out, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think we should get for another harvester. We're going to get rid of that vector. We're going to find something else to uh, stick out here in Hazard County. I need another harvester. I don't know what to get yet. I need some ideas. Let me know in your comments uh, any thoughts on what we should get, what kind of harvester, and uh, yeah, what kind of head, I guess, as well. I don't know. I've got a few ideas there, at least, but just let me know what harvester, at least, and we'll go from there. All right, let's finish this field up. This shouldn't take us too terribly long. Looks like we only got a couple more passes to do. Like one, one headland here, I'll do a couple passes, and we'll be done. Uh, I think we'll be in time to get home for dinner, even. I like that. I like dinner. Some chicken wings. Oh man, 7 a.m. All right, well, we're gonna head out. I've got the truck all suited up. We got the trailer on the back. It, you know what? I forgot to lower the hitch. We got to drop that down before someone remind me to lower this hitch down so that it's uh, a little bit more, a little less jank. She's a little jank right now. Um, we're going out to the forestry camp today, and you know, it's a bit of a trek, so I got a lunch with me as well. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think Mike might be mad at me. I think he might be upset, but we're gonna take this bobcat out there. He's been uh, working away without a bobcat for moving the pallets around. I don't think he's happy with it about me <laughs> bringing him one because we brought that forklift back. Uh, so we're taking this bobcat out. I've got a bucket as well so we can move some of the wood chips there. You can see we've got everything, all our equipment lined up in here. Oh, man. This is my favorite part. Just look at all the equipment we got lined up in our shed here. We got it from the old uh, uh, Massey. We got our new case and the John Deere 9R, of course. The shed looks so good over here. Um I still got to figure out what the heck we're going to do with the vector. And you can see, well, our, uh, our, whatchamacallit over there, the versatile, she's due for a bath. So I got to give that thing a scrub down, but that'll have to wait. Bronco's still sitting good. I was thinking about taking the Bronco out there, but towing this trailer with this kind of weight in the back with the Bronco is just not a good idea. Um, let's get inside this and uh, we'll load it up now. You know what? I actually need, what I need to do is uh, I need to put the bo that bucket in the box of the truck. So, if we can connect the bucket first, and then put that back in the box. I can't really lift this up easily. I mean, I probably could. I mean, I, I have been working out and all, so uh, I'm sure I could lift it up. No problem, but you know what? I just want to 
do it with do it the easy way. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I don't need to strain a muscle first thing, right? Let's see if we can drop this bad boy back here. Right on in. Oh man, I missed that by a mile. Now, how do you guys feel about tracks versus wheeled bobcats? I've always gone, I don't know. I think for what we're gonna be using it for out in the woods a little bit more, maybe a little bit, uh, it might be a little bit more convenient to have the tracks, but I'm a little bit wary now that uh, the problems we've had with the vector, <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? It hasn't worked out so well. Buckets in the back, we've got our pallet forks, and that's really what the big job this thing is gonna be used for, is just moving around those pallets of wood so that's the main reason we're taking this little thing out there. Uh, plus, it's pretty cool to drive. I love driving bobcats. They're so much fun. <laughs> you know what? We didn't even need the ramps, technically. You can just kind of push these things right up inside there. Uh, let's get this thing lined up nice. I'm going to put it in backwards just so we can get the forks to uh, sit nicer. I kind of want the weight to be a little bit forward. Uh, yeah, right in that neck of the woods right there, I think, is the best spot for us to have the weight. Is this going to let me close it? You know what? We're going to leave this up just in case. So that ramp, when we shut the doors on the ramp here. Come on, shut down. Uh, I'm going to put the ramp up, and then I just want to make sure the forks aren't stuck in there. So I'm going to lower the lower this hitch down a bit, get the ramps put back in, and let's hit the road. Ramps are in. We've got the hitch lowered down. Let's go. Let's see what kind of power she's got. What do you think? We have some wheel slippage here. <laughs> yeah, just a, just a touch. Oh, yeah. And we've got to go uh, into the woods. Oh man, how could this go wrong? <laughs> All right, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left. Oh yeah, this is so underpowered for this. I thought this old Chev could handle it, but I feel like we're. Um, I feel like this was a mistake. Oh well, too bad for that. Let's just go. <laughs> And now the test begins. Will it handle the woods? I think we'll be all right. The old chef can handle this, right? Right? I hope so. Come on, go, 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 go! Hammer down. I think if we, I think the the best resolution for this is just go with speed. Just go with speed. Oh man, this, wheel, this steering wheel's gotten no, it's built awfully light. I don't know if I've got any any power up there. <laughs> I think the front end's just bouncing off the ground. We'll be okay. Just hold on tight. Hold on really, really tight. Get up the hill. Come on. Get up the hill. Oh, come on. Get up there. Oh, man. This handle's actually a lot better than the Bronco. I don't think the Bronco would have made that hill. No, there's no way it would have made it up this little hill here. We've got a bigger hill coming up, though. And here we go. Now, I thought for a second, you know what? Clutch, let's just go the, the easy way. We don't need no sticking hill. Now, let's take it. Yeah, right. Let's take the hill climb. We get stuck. We got a bobcat. We can dig ourselves out. Go, 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 go. Get up there. Come on. Climb. Come on. Get up there. Oh, yes. Get on up. Get some. Get some. Get on up there. Love it. Oh, man. This truck is awesome. There's no way the Bronco would make this. Not a chance. I'm not pulling this weight. Wow. And then, oh, slow her down. Watch this hill. Now, this is the problem. I think the, bro the brakes of the Bronco might be better. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on tight. Sweet skis, we made her. Um, I can see why, well, I can see Mike's a little upset. He's taking another load out, I think, of uh, some timber <laughs> back into town for sale. Um, we're, it's all stacked up in here. Look at all, look how much we got sitting here. We got four stacks, eight stacks in total. I'll give him a hand a little bit, but he's been hand bombing all the wood into the back of his truck in order to take it to the market to sell for us. Um, he's made us like 150,000 bucks, I think, on this. But uh, whatever, it's all good. Let's go, we'll get this thing off of here. Nice and easy like. Uh, you know what? This is going to be whoa, way better than our previous uh, our previous implementation. That Clark did not work so well. Um, the only problem is I just kind of... Uh, I lose all my hair whenever I go in here. I don't know why. I lose all my hair as soon as I get inside the Bobcat. <laughs> I can't see anything in the first person. But this works. I mean, look at how much more room I've got here. Just kind of push her in. Pick it up. Oh, oh I didn't get the, the whole thing there, though. Because I can't see in first person. We'll just pick this, pick, pick, pick this up, pick, pick, pick this, pick it up, Come on, pick it up. Try number two. Let's try that again. There we go. Hey, I picked it up that time. All right, lots of room. <laughs> um, it's it's a little tight when there's multiple stacks here from it building up. I'm not gonna lie there. Uh, I can just kind of hammer it down now and move it out. 
Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna probably put these in the back of the trailer. Take uh, I'll take two loads in or two two planks in at least. But uh, this is great. I like it. Anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for us today. It's gonna be stacked. Oh, holy. I hope it stacks properly. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, joining me today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you guys know what to do. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe for the best forever farms. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. What is going on with my steering? Get into the back of this trailer. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's better. All right. Perfect. I'll give it a shove in a sec. Anyways, guys, thanks again, and I will catch you next time. This is Clutch from Hazard County fighting with his forks over and out. Come on. Yes.